we want to perform the indicated operation, which is subtraction. And to subtract, remember, we need like radicals. In this form, these are not like radicals, but make sure you always completely simplify each term or each radical expression before you make that decision. For example, let's simplify this first radical expression. We're looking for any perfect square factors of 125 and any perfect square factors of x cubed. Well, remember, 125 is 25 times 5, and 25 is a perfect square factor, and x cubed is x squared times x, and x squared is a perfect square factor. Now, I'll simplify this further in just a moment, but let's continue with this second radical expression. Are there any perfect square factors of 20? Well, the answer is yes. 20 is 4 times 5, and 4 is a perfect square. What about x cubed? x cubed is x squared times x. So notice I haven't changed anything. If you multiply these two factors, you still get 125x cubed, but now I'm ready to simplify. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x squared is x. And then I have square root of 5x minus square root of 4 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of x squared is x, and then I have 5x left under the radical. These now are like radicals because the index here is the same as this index and the radicand is the same as this radicand. So let's go ahead and simplify further. What is 5x minus 6x? That is negative 1x or negative x square root of 5x.